steam. Now, from the future of rocket warfare, we head to a different kind of battle. It's the real reason I didn't get any sleep last night. And if you thought you heard sleigh bells, that's because it this might as well be Christmas in June. Be it. It's finally time to talk Star Wars Squadrons. Yes! I promise you, we are going to get a first look at some brand new gameplay in just a moment. But first, for anyone who doesn't fully grasp okay. why I'm Come so on. excited, Come on. earlier this week, Give us the stuff. this film dropped a trailer that literally gave me all the feels, chills, joy, excitement, and then more chills on top of that. Take a look. Here we go, boys. The trailer again. Let's get some pogs in the chat, boys. Let's fill this thing up. The moment we've been waiting for. It's a different trailer. It's a different trailer. It's got copyrighted music again. Monka W. The music's sick. I'm loving it. It seems slightly different. I don't know, it's modified. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they got for us. Wow. I don't know, Shadow. I have no the idea, man. The 37-year-old man on this couch is excited. Ladies and gentlemen, for the second year in a row, I have the honor and privilege of helping introduce a new Star Wars title. And here, to put the hype in hyperdrive, is none other than Motive's creative director, Ian Frazier. Hello, Ian! Hey, Who right? is Ian doing? Frazier? I'm I thought they were going to give us Dennis Braunvall. Where is Dennis Braunvall? They uh, fired him. They no sent him the battlefield. You are quite the Star Wars fan and have been a long time. How long have you liked Star Wars? I've been a Star Wars fan for pretty much my whole life. I don't even remember the first time I saw the movie. And as a kid, there was a lot of different parts of Star Wars I loved. One of them was being a pilot, that idea of climbing into an X-Wing or a TIE fighter. So, you know, I played all the flight games in the 90s, and I got pretty obsessive about them. I'd pause, meticulously draw the insides of the cockpits mm -hmm. and stuff. And actually, I dug up some of those drawings from my parents' attic over the holidays. We're showing them right now to the world. This <laughs> strikes me as above and beyond the normal level of Star Wars fandom. Uh, I think at Motive, you'll find that quite a few people have that level of Star Wars fandom. Uh, when we started this project, I talked to a lot of people as they joined the team, and a lot of them had similar kinds of stories of things they'd done as kids. One oh, it might be Criterion, you're right. cockpit in his garage. Wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's fandom on another level. How do you guys go from being a fan, <laughs> play drawing tries. what you see in the game, or building a cockpit in your garage, to actually making this game? Well, I think that fandom, just love of Star Wars, has provided a really good foundation for us. But on top of that, of course, the team at Motive got a lot of experience working with Star Wars oh, when they worked on Battlefront 2. And when okay. Battlefront 2 wrapped up, there was a really small group of us that were really into particularly the pilot experience within Star Wars. And we okay. wanted to make something new, something that really went all in on that part of the fantasy. And so we, we did kind of a grassroots initiative, our start of a little passion project, and that ramped up into eventually what is the game we're going to show you today. You talk about, you know, game your play, game play, for game this, play. Your nostalgia for Star Wars flight games of the past. How do you honor that but make something brand new? It's been interesting. You know, we, we're trying to kind of pull from that spiritual heritage of many different games in that time period. Um, at the same time, we want to do something that feels fresh and new for fans today. And so what we tried to look at is sort of the spiritual core of what I think are the best of the Star Wars flight games of the past. And what they did that I love is that they made that part of the universe real. The level of depth and detail that they show in the ships, the, the way that you control them, is something that I remember fondly from my childhood and is something that we're trying to do very much with squadrons. You know, in real life, being a pilot is, is hard. It takes skill. And that's something that you'll see throughout the game. You know, as you start off playing, it's pretty straightforward, fly around, shoot your lasers. But as you get deeper into it, you start learning how to divert energy from your lasers to your to your divert engines. Divert energy. How to shift your shields from the front to the back. They keep saying that. Dog fight. Well, let's or see. at the higher levels of skill, you can do really crazy stuff. Like you can boost your engines, fly ahead, cut them off, whip around 180 and shoot a missile off your own tail while drifting backwards. Like real ace pilot stuff. That and sounds really where we have a lot of fun with the game. 
I want to do that. So I want to learn how to do that. <laughs> I understand the nuts and bolts of how to play it. Is there a single player story? Is there a multiplayer mode? What are we getting into? It's actually some of both. So the game starts with a brand new single player story. It takes place a little bit after Return of the Yeah, Paul moment. And it has kind of a, a unique dual perspective approach to it. So when the game starts, you're going to create two pilots. You create a New Republic pilot and an Imperial pilot. And you're going to alternate between their perspectives, mission to mission, over the course of the story. That's pretty cool. You're going to meet a diverse cast of characters along the way, and also a few familiar faces. Now, when you're done with that story, and you've played maybe a bit in the practice range, you say, hey, I want to try multiplayer. We want to make it really easy for you to hop online with your friends and play competitive space battles. Competitive! Pog! Um, Let's go! Reduce the barriers, <laughs> as easy as possible for you to play with your friends. Tournaments! So Come on! Play, we fully support cross-play. <laughs> You could be on PS4, Xbox One, uh, PC. You could be playing on a traditional display or in VR, which, fun fact, the entire game supports VR from beginning to end, which is pretty cool. But regardless of how you're playing, which platform, they can all play together. Just hook up with your friend, connect, have an awesome space. Competitive crossplay VR. That's my mind, man. Like, I don't... That's awesome. That is... Uh, the big question, uh, when can people actually play it? Ah, not too long, actually. Uh, Star Wars Squadrons is coming out on October 2nd. Okay, just give us the okay. gameplay. Come on, okay, let's see. Let's see. I was see worried it. about you. I thought you were going to leave me on a teaser there. You didn't. You actually delivered. I appreciate that. The next big ask I have, on behalf of everybody watching, I'm sure, who came here for one specific reason, can we see some new gameplay of it? Can we see any gameplay of it? Absolutely. I, I kind of figured you might want to. On behalf of everyone at Motive and the team at Lucasfilm, there we go, boys. I'm very happy to show you the world's first look at gameplay of Star Wars Squadrons. Enjoy. I have chills already. In hangar. The Imperial Fleet is still a threat. Vanguard Squadron. Let's make history. Vanguard Squadron Pog! Yes! I'm so everything we've done has led to this. Finish those Vanguard scum. This is Star Wars Squadron. Earn your wings in a single player story spanning two factions. All stations! Fire on that ship! And master of multiplayer battles as a squadron of five. With the option to play the entire game in VR. This is the definitive Star Wars pilot experience. Come on, come on. That's actual gameplay what you're watching right now. You'll begin your you're watching gameplay. In a single player story. Welcome to Titan Squadron. Where you'll play as two looking good. pilots. Flying for both the Empire and the New Republic. This looks sweet. Experience this world through your cockpit. The instrumentation in front of you provides critical feedback about power management. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. With a squadron of diverse characters. The HUD is in the system. Holy cow. Challenging missions. It's all first person. Hello, Vanguard. Well, right, Shadow. There's Hera! My spies has leaked the attacks with the new Republic Starhawk project. The Hera, pause! Stay together. Let's go! The balance of power in the galaxy. Get ready! Let him have it. <laughs> to take the fight online, you'll need flight time with all eight ships. Fighters are the most flexible and versatile, able to oh. any situation. Oh, let's see. Interceptors are fast nice. and highly maneuverable. Let's get them. Ideal for hunting down your opponent's starfighters. That was kind of fun. Support Ooh. Is safe and stocked up. Oh! Surrounding enemy fighters. Light them up. Nice. Bombers. Yeah! Guys, let's get some potato pogs. Let's get it rolling. Bird component needs something customized. I'll take care of it. Unlock everything you need to customize your pilot and star. What the? Oh, look at the customization! Look at that! Oh! over 50 components that alter how you Oh my gosh, what? And survive. They're on you. Whoa! You can dramatically change your loadout depending on your squadron strategy. No way. This will be critical in Star Wars Squadron's multiplayer modes. Modes? Dog? Okay, let's see, let's see. Dog fights. This is 
is an all-out 5v5 battle. That hard five, that was the best! Fine-tune your loadouts to work as a team. Moving in on the enemy. Utilize components like tractor beams, tractor beams. and mines to what? slow down your opponents or set up your squad mates for the kill. Rebels unlocked. For teams looking for an even greater challenge, it's time to prove yourself in Star Wars Squadron's signature. <gasps> no way. No way. No way. Battles are multi-stage conflicts. Whether playing solo or with friends, you'll have the option to compete against other players Is this... or AI as a squadron of five. It's still a 5v5. It's still a 5v5. Meet your team in the social hub to solidify strategy. Coordinate loadouts and prepare for takeoff. First, push the front line by winning the dogfight in the center of the map. Next, attack or defend two medium sized capital ships. Yeah, Starfighter sold pretty much. We've lost our capital ship. And finally, the ultimate goal target and destroy the subsystems of your opponent's map. Yeah, it's Starfighter assault. That's pretty cool. At each phase, your squadron either pushes the line forward or falls back to defend. Keep our flagship safe. It's your squadron's choice of how to play. I'm hit. Speedy, unrelenting assaults. Stay together, strike quick. Go fast. Stealth and subversion. Here we go. We go fast. Or brutal bombardment. Give us an FOV slider, please. We need an FOV slider. Squadron is the key to victory. Wow. Making my attack run now. Let's make this count. This is Star Wars Squadrons. Join the galaxy. I like this. I, I'm excited. I'm excited, guys. Let's get some potato pogs in the chat. FOV would allow you to see out of the sides of the, the side windows and not just the front window. You actually see what you're looking at. I like it. That's pretty cool. I'm excited.